I'm Dr. Elise Klein and I am a clinical senior lecturer at the University of Manchester and a consultant dermatologist at Salford Royal. My research is clinical translational research, so it focuses very much on the patients and my, one of my key uh, areas of research is the brain-skin connection. So you're a senior lecturer, a consultant dermatologist and you have two daughters. How did you combine career and motherhood? I've been incredibly lucky because in the environment where I work, um, both at the University of Manchester and with the Trust, um, there's a lot of support for women to work part-time and to work flexibly. Um, and I think that's enormous strength you know, of both my places of work because there's no doubt that it adds a different dimension to life, sort of juggling these two aspects, the work aspect and the home ac aspect, and it's just trying to get that balance right. Um, and I think that balance is different for each individual because it depends a lot on you know what kind of sport they get at home and what kind of sport they get at, at work. The importance of role models is often underplayed but what about you? Did you have any inspirational figures that influenced you and your career? One of my earliest role models was my grandmother um, and uh, I thought she was an extraordinary woman. In her early 30s she was widowed and uh, had th uh, four young children um, and this was in the 1950s um, in South Africa. She made a decision that the way she could support her family was to train and so she um, made quite a massive step for that era and she decided to go and train to be a nurse. Initially she was a midwife and then uh, towards the end of her career she was a matron at quite a large hospital. She was extraordinary because she had an, a, a wonderful work ethic but I think to be able to have that balance of bringing up four young children um, as a widow in that era was quite a challenge. Um, and so I think um, she was a really good example of how, you know, how tenacity does actually pay off. Um, so I think she definitely was one of my earliest um, exemplars of you know, what's possible when you're a woman trying to keep that balance between work uh, and, and your home life. Now as I you know, have my own family and I can you know, think what it must have been like to be on your own with four young children and none of the support, you know, we have massive support now. You know, we have childcare op you know, opportunities, we have flexible working arrangements, you know, there are all these things that we have now which were not available then. So I think she was really extraordinary. How do you hope things will have improved for your children by the time they grow up? I have hopes for what their opportunities will be. Um, I have hope that they will have fewer challenges that women have faced over the years. Um, and, I, and I truly hope that they will be uh, in an environment where they feel as though they can achieve their potential. And so that's why it's so important that we focus on these initiatives like Athena Swan. We focus on how we can move forward. There's no doubt that we have made enormous inroads into this issue over the decades. But clearly there is still some work to be done. If you could offer one piece of advice to your 20-year-old self, what would it be? I would t tell her to persevere, um, to keep trying, because inevitably individuals encounter challenges and setbacks. It's just to pick yourself up and then to approach, approach it again. I think that would be my most uh, important message.